What's going on guys, Robert Three Strong, back again with my assistant coach Riley who is uh, focused and on the job, ready to go. Um, I've talked about how to do a forward lunge and a backward lunge. Today I'm going to um, present a couple options on how to add some resistance. Um, if, if the body weight lunge is a little bit too easy and it's not as much of a challenge for your legs, then obviously you got to go heavier. And um, there are different ways of actually loading it. I'm going to show you how to hold the weight in your hands. Granted, you can do lunges with a barbell on your back. Um, but sometimes that can be a little bit precarious and un uncomfortable, um, depending on what your experience is with, with having a barbell on your shoulders. The options I'm going to show you just require one dumbbell. You're going to hold it in your hands, and there's a few different ways that you can hold it. Um, to not only challenge your legs, but to challenge your, your core and even your upper body. So the first one is the carrying it at your side. So it's just going to be hanging at your side like you're holding a briefcase or a suitcase or something like that. And you're just going to lunge out. So this is a, obviously our forward lunge and the mechanics are going to be exactly the same if, if you want to learn those mechanics watch my lunge video uh, how to do a forward lunge and a backward lunge but the mechanics are going to be the same and the interesting thing is that since this thing is down at our side if we start to lean forward too much notice how that dumbbell wants to swing forward if we keep ourselves upright a little bit more without letting that knee push forward we force ourselves to stabilize a little bit more through our trunk. But with this, since we're doing uneven loading, we have to really squeeze those obliques, that opposite side, to really stabilize our spine. And granted, you, you, know, you can do both sides with this one. Another thing is that, say you have the dumbbell on your right side, you can do lunges on your right leg, or you can do lunges on the left leg. You can try to do opposite loading and see which way works. So you can do left hand, left leg, left hand, right leg, right hand, right leg, right hand, left leg, all that stuff, and play a fun game of Twister while you're at it. Okay, next one. This one's gonna be both hands. So you're gonna grab it either like this, or you can grab it kind of in this goblet squat position, whichever way it works. Um, some gyms have these little hex dumbbells like, like this, and it's actually comfortable to hold it either way. Some have the, the round flat, dumbbells, metal dumbbells, and so this way might be a little bit tricky depending on how big your hands are, so I would recommend holding those like this. Either way, you're going to keep that in nice and tight, push the elbows underneath, keep that chest up, and you're going to go do those forward lunges. The last way, which is one of the most challenging, especially for the shoulder and your uh, trunk strength is to get this dumbbell overhead in the overhead position and you really have to squeeze that shoulder blade back if you want to know how to get into a good overhead position watch my how to press video because you don't want to be here because that's going to put too much stress on the shoulder and too much stress on the lower back so squeeze forward still lunge out really drive back up and this one's really going to force you to stay nice and tight within the shoulders and in the trunk. So we have those three different options, holding the dumbbell at your side, holding it at your chest, or holding it overhead. And even with that overhead option, if you want, you can grab both sides and press that overhead and just hold it with two hands. Options are endless. Yep, options are endless, Riley said. There's so many different ways you can spin it. It's crazy. Okay guys, I will see you tomorrow.